What's going on, everybody? Hey, you guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. We're super excited to be sitting with you again. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Rich, today we're talking, starting to talk about the reality of the fact that God is who He is, mm -hmm. and the reality of the fact that wherever you turn from Genesis to Revelation, you see God communicating, communing, and giving who he is yeah. to mankind. Absolutely. We are the created. Mm -hmm. He is the creator. And what's really interesting is the fact that when he created us, he didn't like create us to go just sit over here in a corner and that was it. We're the apple of his eye. Yeah, he amen. created us to have fellowship with us. And inside of that, there is this reality mm -hmm. that is thematically true through the entire word, and that is that God is desiring to speak to you. Yeah. He's desiring mm -hmm. to communicate with you. He's desiring to show you who He is, mm -hmm. and inside of that is a real relationship. Yeah, I think that's amazing. When you stop and even just think about that. Mm -hmm. God desires to communicate and speak to you Amen. continually. Yeah. You know, and that when you really begin to grab a hold of that and mm. you realize that he is mm. wanting to share things with you. Yeah. He is wanting to talk to you and give you insight yeah. and, and build you up and love on you through mm. communication. Amen. That's incredible. It's and incredible. we see that, like you said, all throughout the, the from the beginning yep. through, yeah. we see that with God. And you know, like one of my spiritual gifts as a teacher, Rachel, mm -hmm. that's what I do. That's what you do. It's one of our main calls. We 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 are 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 in East Africa, in India, in mm -hmm. the U.S. is to teach to to show forth a proper understanding of yes. who God is yeah. in this new covenant, so that people can connect with Him. So I believe doctrine is so important. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I believe yeah. that it's it's huge because the wrong doctrine mm -hmm. can show forth a a a shadow of God, so to speak, mm -hmm. that is wrong and it will keep people from connecting yeah. with him. There's even doctrines of demons. Yeah, a hundred percent. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I mean, you have to be very careful. Doctrine is very important. However, as important as I say doctrine is mm -hmm. and why I take it so seriously to go deep into the word to explain things to people where they can connect with God. It's like doctrine is this road that you're able to walk on and mm -hmm. be confident in. However, there's still a connecting with God. A hundred percent. You can't. Yes. You, you'll, you're never going to have a correct enough doctrine to where you just don't have to actually take right. time to connect with him. The, the, the reason like that Paul, for instance, what in the book of Galatians, the reason he was so furious mm -hmm. was the fact that this doctrine was wrong, but mm -hmm. the doctrine was driving people away from connecting with God. Yeah. So he was very furious at the fact that wrong doctrine, he was like, it's so important. You have to see, stop trying to be justified by the law, be justified by yeah. grace. Yeah. So it's so important, the right doctrine. However, even in that, once you get the right doctrine, again, it's like this pathway you're able to walk on and be confident on, but you still have to meet him on that path. You still have to talk to him. You still mm -hmm. have to fellowship with mm -hmm. him because it's inside of that that he'll start to communicate with you your life, what he has for your life, what he has for you personally, uh, how to raise your kids, mm -hmm. how to walk in humility, mm -hmm. how to be a good husband or a good wife. I mean, there is so much inside of that. So is, is right doctrine correct? Yes, but you have to realize that it's, that's the beginning. Yeah. It's the thing that's going to keep your heart stable because mm -hmm. we start to see the, who we are in Christ and start to see who he really is, which is so important. But you still have to take time to connect with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that doctrine or whatever you believe is never going to fully come alive. Yeah, it's so good. And fully yeah. have a depth of mm -hmm. root, which Amen. is like a deep understanding, a reality yeah. in your heart. If God's not breathing yes. on it, if the Holy Spirit's not ministering to mm -hmm. you that this is truth. Yeah. It's not moving from the realm of your head where you just mm -hmm. think and you just know, okay, well, you know, I believe this is the way it is because yeah. it is to where it's actually affecting your yeah. heart and you believe it. Mm -hmm. When we got married, I had grown up in certain church settings and mm -hmm. certain groups and there was different doctrine and things taught mm -hmm. that I would share with you. And I yeah. would say like, oh, this is the so way things are supposed to really be. Really good point. Cause some of, a lot of what you were sharing with me was, was truth. Right. It was really good. Um, I came I from remember, a setting I yeah. had nothing. 
Yeah. No really understanding of God. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say the funny thing was you began to question me mm -hmm. on those that kind of doctrine, that kind of teaching and mm -hmm. theology. And you were saying, well, where are you getting this from? Mm -hmm. Like, where does this come from in the yeah. Bible? Well, I actually could not explain mm -hmm. what I was sharing with him. Mm -hmm. I had just heard that. Mm -hmm. And I guess I had just accepted it, you know, because from people that I trusted. Yeah. But I couldn't actually say, you know, I know what I believe yeah. because it's real in my heart. God has spoken it to me. Mm -hmm. He's shown it to me in his word. Yeah. And I actually have it living and abiding on the inside that's, of me. That's an amazingly good point because I had like no word in me when we got married and then right when we turned to the Lord, I had nothing, nothing to really go by. I'd heard things about God or heard this, or that, but no real connection to any truth of his word. Um, you had been exposed to a lot of pretty good teaching as far as that God is good, that he mm -hmm. loves you, that he desires for you. He has a good plan for your life. Just mm -hmm. these, these, sense, these simple good truths. But what I knew about God was bearing no fruit in my life because right. it wasn't even right. the truth. But what you were heard about God was not bearing any fruit it wasn't in your life. No, it was producing because, no fruit. Because you had heard these things, but yet yes. you had never said, okay, I'm going to use this as a pathway. This is great right. that I have some truth, but I need to connect with him. I yes. need to hear him. Yes. I need to have him come alive in my soul. That you'd never put in that type no. of, 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 of emphasis, uh, emphasis and on it. And so therefore it. yeah. it's interesting because we see this, don't we Rach? A lot mm -hmm. with people, they come to us like, so do you guys, oh, that's grace. You got, you guys, uh, preach a lot of the grace message or this or that. And I'm like a, a message, a grace message or a faith mm -hmm. message or a this message. People get so consumed uh -huh. in their doctrine, in their denomination or non-denomination, inside of their, their little bickerings. And even, uh -huh. if they be, even if their doctrine is like 100% correct, I see a lot of people that they're so consumed yeah. with knowledge. Uh -huh. And what did uh, uh, in, in uh, 1 Corinthians or 8 Corinthians, or 1 Corinthians or 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1, uh, Paul said that knowledge puffs up, love edifies. If, yeah. Like, if you don't have any type of working mm -hmm. knowledge in the sense of like God has deposited yeah. some things in you, how to take truths and operate in them yeah. to bear forth fruit, then you're just still worshiping a doctrine right. that's not going to produce right. that much fruit. God is desiring for us to go deep with him so that we can connect with him yep. so that he can give it's us revelation. It's not so that you just have a point to argue on. Uh, yeah. When you come up with somebody that maybe believes differently or you want to prove a point yeah. and so you... You're like, no, I believe this, this and this and this. Mm -hmm. And first of all, that type of behavior shows that you haven't really connected yeah. with God in the right way anyway, because like you just said, love edifies. Man. And if you read any of first John, you'll know that he, John is saying to mm -hmm. us that it's, it's our love. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it's our love that yeah. shows forth who God is. Yeah. If we are experiencing God, then love is the fruit of that. Yeah. And so it's not about having a doctrine that you argue or that you just yeah. prove points with, or that you can just spout off. It's about an actual fact that you say, Hey, I've connected, Amen. I've connected with the one. Amen who has breathed this on life inside of me. And therefore I'm giving this life to other people. Mm. It's not about going out and sharing your so doctrine. Good. It's about sharing him. him. Yeah. The doctrine is the path. Yes. That brings you to have, okay. An understanding or to feel like, you know, him. That's what it's, it's like a symphony all it working is. together. It works together. That's a great point. And that verse was first Corinthians chapter eight, verse one, knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. Mm -hmm. Um, because I do, I, I, I get confronted a lot of times that people just want to argue doctrine. They don't want to show forth fruit. So for instance, like I believe in divine health and, but my point is not to, to argue with somebody about it. I were more concerned with showing forth the power of God mm -hmm. of that area of my life, laying hands on the sick, being bold about the fact that God's a good God. But I do that so that people will meet with him. Mm -hmm. They'll talk with him. Mm -hmm. They'll fellowship with him and come forth yeah. and bear f that fruit yeah. in their own life. So we're saying, God. you guys, is it is important to seek mm -hmm. the truth and have sound doctrine, mm -hmm. but more than that, it's important to connect with God. Amen. We love you guys. We also want to connect with yeah. you. Hit us up on WhatsApp. Yeah, Send any prayer sure. requests to us, you guys. All right. We love you and we'll see you next time. See you guys.